Hi everybody, how's it going? This is John, Team ONS, Team Gradelock, bringing you guys another Top 8 deck profile. Uh, this time we have a Gear Chronicle deck profile for you guys, but not with the actual pilot of the deck. Uh, long story short, the guy has night classes, like a lot of night classes, and this happened a few weeks ago. So we have here Tony Wong subbing in for him. It was his deck that he borrowed, and he knows the ins and outs of it, and is willing, uh, is gracious enough to come in, reflect um, on the deck overall, and put a couple viewpoints in from Tom himself. Yeah. Hello, guys. So Tony, if you want to take away the deck profile, go ahead. All right. So we start off with the broken. TikTok worker. Broken card is broken. Yeah, broken card's broken. Basically, it helps you do Melum timely plays, shenanigans that not many people can stop, and I'm sad, but whatever. Broken card's broken card. So we run two of this, one in the one in the main deck, one as a starter, just so you can just do more timely plays later on. So. Makes sense. Next card we run is four Cro Chrono J Dragon G's. Very good card. Helps you timely plays. It gets really big power on next stage plays. Not really much to say about it. It's just a really good card to broken run. Broken card is broken. Broken cards are broken, yes. <laughs> Next, we run the backup. Uh, the original Chrono, uh, Chrono Dragon. <laughs> Not as broken anymore. Not as broken, good. but still useful. Just for some plays and stuff like that. So we run three of him. Uh, next car, next car we run is De uh, Delayed Blazer Dragon. We run two of it. Um... Mostly for broken timely plays. That's really all it's here for. <laughs> call it. Call it. Call it. Leave it. Call it. Grab it. Get a grade three. Most likely, your Zulu York time beast just to get more power and stuff like that. Yay! Multi attacking. Yay! Yeah. So good card. Um, personally, I would have run one to run more of this, but for the time we only ran two. So yeah, two of these. Um, Calbum. We run three of it. Um, just a good card for spot removal and getting rid of starters and stuff like that. That's really all it's there for. So yeah, just a solid card, nonetheless. The really broken card. Yay! What History Makers, the the card that's like either stupid for no reason. Either this, either like if things were get hit, either this would get hit or Melum get hit. I don't know. Just broken card, broken card. Neither, it helps you. Helps but you. But neither of them got hit. No, neither of them got hit. So yeah, we run four of this just to see consist for consistency sake, just to see it more. Um, this card, I think I found very, not very useful honestly, Upstream Dragons. So we ran two of this. Um, for the most part, we don't really have many targets uh, for for the Grey One spot, like as you'll see sooner or later. But all it, all of this is here, was this here for was mostly just to poke poke and then set up, set up plays like maybe fetch a melon and stuff like that so uh, personally I didn't like this card but it worked out <laughs> next the really broken card no no, no no not broken not broken at all <laughs> the card that should have been banned but nah Bushiro's like nah fuck that shit <laughs> so no, we you run, can run you can run it at four guys it's fine totally fine so yeah four melums um you know the plays you just attack with melum Get get a um, Urwatar, time leap Urwatar. Get a Melum again, stuff like that. Good good stuff. That um, the for 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 yeah, it's it's just an expensive card. It's an expensive card though. It got reprint. It's just a good card. So yeah. <laughs> next, my favorite card personally is two uh, two Meskias. Um, just broken plays with uh, Chrono Jet G when you stride into a Gear Dragon. You can time just call an Urwatar, time leap, call this, draw cards, and draw more cards. Just good stuff. And get plus 4k to something, so that also helps. Uh, one Tickway Dragon. Yep. It's a good card just to recycle stuff. Only need one because you can oh, just look, do... Oh look, my, all my triggers are out of my deck. Oh look, now all my triggers are back in my deck. Thanks, yeah. Tickway. Yeah, pretty much. So, one of this, just good. it's just a good card to run. Um, three Steam Breath Dragons. Um, you sh you have you have ways to recycle, so you have enough like sh uh, strides as you need to, so it's fine. <laughs> so three of those, and then four Arlums, because unflipping is good. That's kind of is that's it? Not... Is it? I, I didn't know that. <laughs> unflipping is good, yes. <laughs> so on to the trigger lineups. We run one Zodiac Time Beast uh, bunny thing. I don't know what it's called. I can't read. <laughs> From and the then, rabbit. Yes, exactly. And then we got uh, four heart, th uh, heart, uh, heart dump workers. 
Um, crits are good. Crits win you games. Uh, even though we don't run that many, we have ways to recycle because Gear Chronicle is broken, so whatever. <laughs> and then we run the broken stand triggers. <laughs> One gear cat for One gear cat for plays. <laughs> for heteroround plays, right? For heteroround plays. But even although Thomas didn't really go into this that often, he mostly went into this like a lot. <laughs> so he just wanted to abuse the draw power, because why not? It's a good card, it helps you recycle things, put things back. Just a, even if it's at one, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and then we run two draws. Zodiac time beast. It's just uh, just for the Zodiac Time Beast and name, and we we like some draw. We like some extra draws, unfortunately. <laughs> and then four heal triggers, because <laughs> heal triggers, G Gardens, whatever. Also Zodiac, Zodiac time, beast. time Beast. If you're desperate to call this, but I don't know where where is that time to go there. But yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that one scenario. So yeah. All right, on to the strides. Two Metallica Phoenix. Really broken <laughs> for a lot of timely plays, just really good. Let's just be honest, like almost everything in this deck is just broken. Yeah, exactly. In fact, even fa in fact, my friend Tom basically topped with this deck without any knowledge of it and still topped eight. So that's how broken it is. <laughs> so we run two of those. Next, we run four next stage, which I have to thank Dave from Team O and S for Yay, getting me for, for get helping me get these next stages off. So. You know, next stage, next stage, restanding vanguards, get into, go into your Chrono Gen Gs or Chrono Jet Dragons, hit for big numbers and stuff like that. Good old restanding vanguard. This is really it. Nice. <laughs> so we're in four of those. Uh, next we ran uh, warp dry dra three warp dry dragons. Now I've been seeing this a lot actually recently come up. And it's because uh, people are using the fact that they run four Urwaters, right? Normally, they're yes. longer. Uh, yes, pretty much, because uh, in this in this build we ran four Urwaters, so like this card is just a it's just a good stride to go into because you can go in when you're on G you can time you can call 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 the stand trigger time leap the stand trigger and then you can like go into other timely plays to help set up stuff. <laughs> so we ran three of this, although it wasn't as good as in uh, play test in the actual tournament because. Uh, Thomas didn't really actually go into this a lot, and he didn't even. At one point, he didn't even like use his effect. He just strode into this just to, for the Gear Dragon, just to time leap the Orwatar. So it was just kind of there most of the time. So we ran three of those. Um, we ran two uh, Chrono Command Revolutions. Um, it was mostly there for the Link Joker matchup, although unfortunately, due to all the matchups, it didn't matter. It didn't matter because none uh, none of his matchups had rear guard, so this card was kind of useless half the time. <laughs> free board wipes are free board wipes. Yeah, it was just for the preparation for the Link Joker matchup. <laughs> so we ran two of those. Uh, sea Breeze, because we want we want to punish people for being great stuck. Uh, unless you're seven Cs, then we can't punish you, unfortunately. <laughs> Yay, seven Cs. <laughs> yeah. So oh, we ran... it's getting hit. No, seven Cs. <laughs> so yeah, we ran. So we run the seven Cs. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, not the seven C. We, well, we were fearful. We were fearful of the seven C still. So, so we run the Sea Breeze. Uh, for our G guard, we ran one. What is this the Rafana? <laughs> um, just a big. It's just a good card to help tutor. Um, put tuck away cards to call out like good, uh, good units, like probably like a zero, <laughs> or like a, or like your starters and stuff like that. It's just a good card. Uh, we also run U Uluru. Uh, Uluru? Um, as a one of, as a one of, uh, because like for for the, for the deck it was just very tight in space, so we only ran one. One was fine. We just needed just enough to recycle, just enough recycling to do plays and stuff like that. And then the true, uh, kind of MVP. One of the MVPs. One of the MVPs to help like uh, deal with like the matchups where they hit for big or they have a restanding rear guard and stuff like that. Hellhound. Hellhound's just good. Comes roll with the cat, so you just make your vanguard really big and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's like most of the. So that's the deck so far. <laughs> um, ma matchups. Uh, well, for the matchups, Thomas faced a lot of Gear Chronicle players and a lot of Shadowbound players. So some of the. So it was very. It was very grindy for him, unfortunately. <laughs> 
almost every single round. I think no, every single round. He every went single, at the time. every single round he went at the time. Also, it didn't help that he just had like an hour tutorial on the. He had an hour tutorial on the deck, so he barely knew how to play the deck. But even still, the fact that Gear Chronicle so broken that it still carried him all the way to top eight. So yeah, there you go, push your own. You gotta, you gotta like fix this problem, man. <laughs> We'll see if that happens with the recent nerf. Um, it's not gonna do anything, unfortunately. So, would you say any any last any last thoughts, maybe from from you, maybe the actual pilot of the deck? For the actual pilot of the deck, he literally stated the deck's not good enough. Need a better deck. I'm the like, the deck is not good enough. <laughs> what does he play? Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yeah, he plays a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Well, Tony, thank you very much. Appreciate you giving us a quick deck profile, uh, guys. Uh, if you like. Uh, deck profiles like this, top cut ARGs. Uh, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Wave bye to the folks, Tony. Bye.